Hello everyone, welcome back to The Limit of Adhesion, sponsored by Captain Birdseye, cleared of all charges. My name's Gareth and joining me once again in the commentary box is Jules. Jules, how are you? I missed Paul. <laughs> Who was on Paul? We didn't see. <laughs> we'll have a look in a second. <laughs> uh, Green came up too early. Gah. Here we go though, it's race two, uh, the feature race at Alton Park and it looks like it's Nick Lee and Ollie Walker on the front row there. Yeah, Ollie Walker. yeah. And obviously, Forrest is still on pole for the Club 1500. Yes. Because Forrester after first. an yes, an amazing win, debut win for Chris Forrester, maiden win. I beg your pardon. It's taken him a while to get it. We're delighted with it. So we're uh, we're we're getting set for a very exciting second race. Then, 26 cars on the grid. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what uh, Liam Walker can do here from front. Yeah, and can it be redemption for Miller? Let's wait and see. There he is in the 99 car. Start for everyone. Yeah. Oh, there's a little brush of contact there between Walker and Lee, but it looks like they're through the first corner. Heading down to Cascades. That's Malarin on the inside. Oh, what happened there? Lines round and falling Smoke. down the order. Oh, there's a big. Oh, there's a lot of cars in there. That's bright. Oh, it's uh, one of the wizards is off. That's an intergalactic. Yeah. Yeah. That Messengers just redoing. Oh my goodness, that was not good at all. Huge pile up. Miller looks to have damage, but is he up to off? Yeah, so he's made places up. Yeah, there he is. Uh, James Pepper on his outside as they head up to the chicane for the first time. So who is in the lead of this race? Uh, Nick Lee. Nick Lee. Still uh, survived Walker, it. Still yeah, it's a replay. So Greening nearly into the back of line before Malarin. And it just, yeah, looks a bit prediction Cody, you have to say. And then, uh, yeah, you saw Bright being spun out as well on board with Malarin. Yeah, I mean, that gap was going to close, though. Yeah. It, uh... Crossed. That's a, it's optimistic into that corner. It's so very fast, as we said before. Sounds pretty really toasted. Here's an on board with Alex Murphy then from P8 after his win. And oh, oh just yeah, nowhere yeah, to go. Thought he was through, yeah. but he wasn't. This guy on board with Kelly from P9. He can see the smoke Where's ahead. Oh, nice avoidance. <laughs> There's a car missing the rear wing. It's the field poor past. Yeah, but better to be in a in a running car than uh, than to be wiped out. Indeed. So. Rob Miller nowhere to go into the back of his teammate. It looks like Murphy saved him from some some of the damage there <laughs> yeah. by bashing line out of the way. But yeah, it looks like he took some damage to his nose. Winslade up to seventh. He was uh, a long way down the grid after his horror show first race. So yeah. Yeah. Maxwell, Winslow, Charlcroft and Aguirre are all up five, so they were benefited from this. Kelly and Bright, not so much. Well that's that's five of the of top split as well, so they've gone even further. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Miller, Maxwell oh, is dropping down. Yeah, that was Pepper. Maxwell against the barriers. There he is. On the exit of Druids. And he's towed back to the pits. James Pepper shaping up on race winner Chris Forrester. Also with damage, Pepper. Yes, was he? He must have been involved in that uh, first lap. I incident. think most people were, unless you were first or second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's Lewis McManaman then getting passed by Gavin Kelly. So unlucky for um, for Lewis after you know like ten laps of the fourteen, doing so well in third place, and then. Falling down the order after an incident late in the race. Oh, that's Ben Chowcroft making a move on James Remwick in the 37. Yeah, Pepper's looking. Still trying to get past Chris Forrester there, but here's Joe Barlow currently running in second place ahead uh, behind Pepper. I think that 
that's because Pepe went in the pits. Ah, so Barlow is... Ah, Steve Pepe hold speeding in the pits. Yeah, he's not going to be seconds. leading much longer. <laughs> no, so Joe, Bar- Joe Barlow is leading Club 1500. He is, yeah. He's fighting on the podium last race. Now he's managed to get past Forrester. Yep. Big gaggle of cars behind Pepe. Forrester got the opportunity for a double podium, though. Or even the double win. Last is left for Greeny. One thirty-two-seven. That's rapid. <laughs> Look at the difference as well. Like thirty-fours for a lot of the grid. He's in the thirty-twos. Oh, Forrester's got a, a hold. That's the same that Winslade had. That's it's very strict end. around here because you can give your time back, can't you? Yeah, you've got just got to you do need it. Like properly. half a minute to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Confusing while it while it's uh, it's catching people out. So yeah, messengers what a move! Siving his way through the shallowest hairpin. Oh, Can't lovely save Miller, it's Luke Lackey's downforce though. Yeah, lovely sunshine on the carbon fibre there. So that's Forrester going slow and letting these guys through. He knows he's on his way to the pits for a pen. Oh, that's Hank. That's talking to Dom too much, talking about pens. It's penalty, sorry. <laughs> Here's Winslow then, currently running in sixth, so he's gone up another place. Nice to see that car in one piece for once. Yeah. And here's Afonso Aguirre. He's looking very rapid. Currently in eighth uh, place. Brighton and Winslade are teaming up the next season. Yes, they are. So it'll be just an evolution of that livery, or the same. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to ask Russell what he's going to do. Yeah, but I imagine it'll be the same. Yeah. We're on board with Rich Meesters. That's Winslade trying to get through at turn one. Who's that off in the background there? Oh, is that Jay? Is that Renwick? Yeah, it's Renwick, yeah. Good spot there, Jules. <laughs> Just saw this streak oh, of Chad grey. Oh, Chad oh, and out. Hill! Oh, and Hill's collected him. Oh, it's, Hill's just having a horror weekend. Right when he needs a, a good one to seal this championship. Well, he won all those races in a row, didn't he? And he uh, did. now he's having all of the, the bad luck. But, yeah, yeah, I just saw the streak of grey dart across the track. Just missed it. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Chalcroft lost it. And Speared Hill, yeah. Well, this uh, this race is throwing up a lot of uh, crazy accidents. Here's Nick Lee then, still leading the race. Ollie Walker still in hot pursuit, just yeah. three tenths behind. And then Greeny, Green. and then Murphy, but Murphy's not fourth. He's been lapped because he had to pit, but. I mean, that's yeah. probably where he would be roughly if he hadn't been caught in that traffic, in that collision. That's true. Fourth, chasing down the leaders for a double win. Yeah, and there's a good gap back to Messenger in fourth. And keep an eye on. Oh, it's like Winslow's past Meesters, and now it's Aguirre's turn. He goes through, and here comes Kelly. Yeah, worth keeping an eye on Greening. Then that gap was two seconds. It's now one point eight. Forrester in the pit lane to serve that penalty. It's promoted Meesters onto the podium. Yeah. We said in the we said in the video for uh, race one that he's uh, he's looking fast this week. He's demonstrating that. Here's Rob Miller, replay for of him. That's messenger behind. So this is that pass into Shell Oils. Yeah. He didn't really I, resist, did he? Probably no. knows he's got damage. Yeah. And there, and there goes the stabby goose. Oh and here's uh, what happened to Renwick. Oh, oh just a bit of a hip check. Yeah, hip check and hits the landmine. And it was Chowcroft who uh, hip checked. It. And then Chowcroft. Wow, it's is it. Was... Yeah. Like was, he, was that a self spin yeah. or was. Or that... I, I didn't see any contact there, no. No, but I think, I think it, the way his car rotated, it looked like there was potentially a prediction error. I don't know. I would say it's probably the um, error wash, but yeah. Yeah. It was a bit too far away from him for it to be a but maybe he knows otherwise. Maybe. Yeah. So, 
Kelly's still stuck behind Meesters for the moment. He's still trying to find his way through. And Winslade now up behind Chris White, who is running second in Club 1500. And lets him go and lets Aguirre go as well. Yeah. Fight today. When that first race disaster at the last corner, he's going to be wanting to not take any risks here. No, max the points, yeah. He's, he's these guys through, let's not race them. Although that will change next season when, um, well, obviously he'll be in top split, but the clubbers will take top split points, won't they? They will, you'll have to fight for every single point. Speaking of fighting for every point, here comes Ollie Walker trying to get past Nick Lee for all the points in this race and the win. We're on lap six of 14. Like Walker since he won his championship. He's just taking the racing now. He doesn't really, he doesn't put a championship campaign together. A bit of replay here, what's this? This is Aguirre up into Druid. Side. Oh, the final corner, a big pun. Yep. Yeah, nice Chris easy move. Yeah, he doesn't put a championship campaign together. He doesn't, like, care if he wins. It's just he likes a good fight, whatever position it's for. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he, he did do that campaign against Kelly in, in the first F3 season. but Yeah, but wasn't that before his GT3 championship? Yeah, and before he became all eSports. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was, like, about the time he was becoming eSporty. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, he, did, he just enjoys a good fight now. Mm. I do like the gold livery. The, the wizard's go oh, I like him more when it's on the road, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Manon and Deposed and Gimp from the podium. Yeah, and it was Russell Bright getting through. He's up into P9. See the standing board sort of rotate, flipped over just to confuse me a little bit. Yeah, I think that was because one of the drivers, was it Pepper? He, was, he went into the pits and it seems to have confused it and sent them up to the front. Yeah. Oh, we got McManaman and... Oh, what's going on there? Talks through it, Jules. Uh, Two into one, don't go. Boards. No, it looked like sticking the nose in where it shouldn't be. Yeah. Seen that one too many times, unfortunately. Uh, James. Fast this lap. Yeah. Oh, here comes Ollie. Look how close they are. It's got a yeah, yeah. straight. Oh, here we go. So we can conclusive. So yeah. Yeah, they're already breaking. So he's not up the inside enough, and no. uh, that was always going to close. Yeah. Front wheel nowhere near past the uh, the rear wheel of McManaman. He had no no right to the space. Greening is taking another four tenths out of the lead of these two. Well, they are fighting hard. They are. And you have to say, Ollie is looking the faster of the two at the moment, but not yes, fast but enough. Yes, but we saw it. One mistake, and uh, it's all over. Oh. He's hanging onto that car. He is. Still hasn't picked up the trophy, though. Has he not? No, outrageous. Not bothered to go get it. Oh! oh. How he's had quite a few of those. <laughs> yeah, I just saw Greening in his right-hand mirror. <laughs> he's, oh, yeah. done, he's just going to open the door if he keeps doing that. And and there, there's Alex is, Murphy. Look, see, if he yeah. wasn't lap down. He would be in for the win. Uh, in the, the show of the win here. He would indeed. Yeah, Greening is hauling that gap down, but yeah, Messenger hasn't really made much inroads. It was eight seconds before. It's still eight seconds now. So we're past the halfway point of this race then. And it's Winslade against Kelly. We haven't really said that much recent recent seasons, have we? No, when, I don't recall when the last time that was. Not have been that long ago. Season one? <laughs> no. <laughs> Lime Rock? They had comings <laughs> together in season two, I know that for a fact. Well, yeah, Winslow went through that phase of just taking him out in TCR as well. You know, this, uh, I mean, they're maintaining the pace of Lee at the front. 
Yeah, well, I mean... It's nice, they, yeah, it was a couple of laps to go, 17 seconds off the lead. He's still 17 seconds off the lead. Is Greening going to get past Walker here? How's he going to do it? Oh, he's twitchy. Yeah, I've noticed that, because, like, you know, this is one of those tracks where you can... You know, the top guys will hot lap at crazy, crazy speed. Oh, Kelly shaping to the inside. That's sliding behind. But when it comes to the race, uh, there's some drivers like Winslade and stuff who will, they're sort of there or thereabouts. You know, not as off the pace as they are in the hot lapping. That's Greening making a move on Walker into yeah. the final corner. Strong Nicely done. Breaks. Yeah, and that's Kelly trying to get through um, Druids on Winslade. Green still having to defend the inside. And this is a uh, yeah, really unfortunate for Murphy. What's he gonna do? Because he's a lap down. But you have to say well, he's faster than everyone ahead of him. We have had some history with lapped cars, haven't we? Yeah we have. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the Winslade incident anymore either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, incidents. Oh, that's savage. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Hockenheim is. It happened to Hockenheim, didn't it, as well? With Line and yeah. Walker and Malaren. Yeah. So through shallow as they come, lap 9 of 14. Oh, massive overspeed by Kelly there, but he had nowhere to go with it. We're on board with him now. Yeah, he's carrying better speed out of that chicane, isn't he? He's going closer to the tyres, that's where you want to get the speed. Yeah. Do you want to open up the second part of the chicane? That's right. And he's so much faster in his lot. Oh, Winslow's made a mistake. He and has. Kelly's through. Nice move. Well, kind of a, an easy an easy pass in the end. Yeah. I'd say it's. Uh, that's what you need, though, isn't it? Force the driver into a mistake, yeah. Greeny. Yeah. Slaps right onto the back of Nicole here. Yeah. We've seen him do these charges through the field on Winslade, Winslade down the inside. Kill, yeah. Oh, he's done it. He's back up into seventh. Kelly's going to have to do it all over again. Yes. Yeah, Greening is he's getting really good at these charges through the field in the feature race. Oh, he's going to the outside of Island Bend. Not quite close enough into the hairpin though. Well, he's a pickup champion. If he seals the prime championship, I think that's the first time he'll ever have a double champion in one season. I don't think there's ever been a case where both dri uh, drivers won both of our titles in the season. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Cause... Went to check. Oh, good. Oh, he nearly, nearly oh. to the back of him there. Yeah. I don't think you can get any closer than that. Go on and Green, tell us what you have for dinner. Because <laughs> I, I think pra Tranta was um, the champion. All right, I'll tell you in a minute. So well, Green's side. too. He's going to go to the outside. It's to back off, and that's left Walker attacking. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Three, nearly three abreast as we go down the Warwick straight. Green to the inside, he's made the move. What a pass by Stephen Greening to take the lead at Alton Park on lap 10. That was amazing. Fantastic. And, Walker and here comes Walker. Second. Yeah. Somehow he is later on the brakes and holds him off. Very wide through the first corner, but I think he's all right. Yeah, Trant, I was going to say, that he was champion of our first season, Prime, and then he was champion of GT3 season one. But GT3 Season 1 didn't occur at the same time as Prime Season 1. It was a season no. later. Well, was was it still where Season 2 was going on or Season 3? I think it was Season 3. I think it was a season behind. At least one. Yeah. It, well, we had, it was always one season behind. I, I don't know whether that was halfway through one of them. Oh, it's because it was short seasons as it well. It was shorter season, yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah... Um, because I think it was when we were doing Formula Renault, because that's when uh, Adam joined, Adam Highfield. Yeah, well, that's, he's the one that wanted the GT3 championship. Yeah, because we, I think when we were doing the Skippy, we were still doing every week. And it was only when we did the Formula Renault 
think that's when we moved it to two every fortnight. And then Adam came in and went, why don't we put a championship in place? <laughs> Because there's so much work to do off of track. It's knackering. Yeah. But, yeah, no, regardless, Trantum wasn't double champion because it wasn't occurring in the same season. No, because it was when Lime won the, yeah, season two and season three of Prime. Meanwhile, we've still got this Winslade-Kelly battle, which has been phenomenal. Nice, exciting racing going on. Well, it's in the contract that they have to do this occasionally, otherwise the league is pointless. Yes. <laughs> I mean, this is this is what it's literally about. The two founders. Just imagine if uh, Kelly had convinced Winslade... No, Winslade has convinced Kelly to do it in a game that you don't have to pay for every month. Yes. You saved so much money. Yeah, but, I mean, have you tried that thing recently? It's such a pile of crap. <laughs> no, I haven't. Looked. Oh, it's dreadful. I don't have enough time. No, no. He does Two laps time. to go. Joe Barlow heading for his first victory in Club 1500. If White is survive, nine seconds behind. Curse. Yeah, well, White's nine seconds behind, so he's safe from attack, really. It's just about whether we curse him into oblivion. Yeah, I mean, these races are a bit late and uh, might lose to concentration. Yeah, on it's board. Kelly. Again. Kelly we're looking back at Kelly from Winslow's car. We're on the run across the hilltop again. Is Kelly going to dive to the inside of the chicane? Oh, he's got such better turning. Winslow got a wheel on the grass there. Yeah, we saw all the dirt being thrown at Kelly's visor. Here is Barlow. And he's under attack from Alfonso Aguirre. Obviously in different splits. So I would be easing him through. So if they collide, then that's... Oh, Kelly to the inside, into the final corner. Big lock-up for Winslade. Kelly's through. Great move there. He kind of almost was carrying... Starting that all the way back in the chicane. Anyway, final lap then. White flag being waved. <laughs> oh, that's super wide for Winslade. Presumably that's going to be a slowdown. He's going to have to back it off. And Kelly's off the road. So no oh, one's no. on Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Huge bit of rally cross. So you've got one slowing down to serve his penalty. The other one rally crossing and it's Winslow back ahead. Oh, that's a kick in the teeth for Kelly there. He had that one uh, done. This greening has got away from Lee and Lee is now fighting to hold on to second place. Yeah. And yet, I mean, like, I think Walker's had the measure of Lee all race, really, but it's just not enough to get through. Yeah, he hasn't found that. Yeah, Greening just was got there and did it. Yes, he was. Straight away. He was decisive. Well, it was a three-way fight through this corner here, Druids, and then uh, along this back straight and into. Oh no, that's a second hold for Chris. That's two in one race. He's all the way down in eighth place. Here he comes. Then oh, drive through Ben Chowcroft, Stephen Greening. Wins once again in top split. Congratulations to him. And it's Nick Lee, a great second place in one of his final outings as reigning champion. And I've heard a rumour he's taking a, going to take another season off. He's only come back for two seasons and taking one off again. Hopefully he comes back soon after that. Mind you, last time he took a season off, he came back and won. <laughs> so, Indeed. There's Winslow coming home at seventh place then. And there's Russell Bright. So where's he come? Ninth place. So seventh and ninth for the No Slots No Glory team. That's a decent haul of points for them. And there's Ewan Manninen. So Stephen Greening wins from Nicola Lee in second. Oliver Walker was in third. Michael Messenger in fourth. Rob Miller in fifth. Afonso Aguirre at sixth. Winslade in seventh. And Kelly in eighth. Russell Bright was in ninth, and Ben Chowcroft rounds out the top ten. Then we had Alex Murphy, Stephen Maxwell, David Lyon, Tor Malarin. Was he the culprit for the huge crash in turn three? Then we had Joe Barlow winning his debut win. Congratulations to him, maiden win. Uh, Chris White in second, Ewan Mannan in third, Rich Meesters in fourth, Philip Miles in fifth, 
Lewis McManaman, sixth, and then seventh was Dan Hill, Chris Forrester, Steve Pepper, James Pepper, and a couple more behind him. Just didn't get a chance to say. I'm sorry about that. Stephen Greening in still on top in the championship. Has he got one hand on the trophy? We'll wait to see when we get to Silverstone. We've got Mark and Messenger in second, and Ollie Walker now up to third place. Well, imagine what would happen if he tried hard it. <laughs> Base, he's just snuck up there, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Tours in fourth, Rob Miller's in fifth, Nick Lee in sixth. Wow, we've thought Rob would be uh, would be the title favourite this season. So. Oh, look how close it is on the Club 1500 Championship. Oh, just that is super points. close. Yeah, and there's there's a lot of smoke down there from someone donut. <laughs> there's somebody, yeah, there oh, he's he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's happy. Just sat next to Greening. <laughs> yeah, so Dan Hill, Chris White and James Pepper are the top three in Club 1500. You have to say it is just the two though, Chris versus Dan. When we go to Silverstone, Risky Racing Blue, the 18 back up into second place, the Risky Time up into third, Wizards Black Sapphire falling to fourth because of uh, Merrin being away for a, a few races this season. Hopefully he'll be back full time next season. And the Intergalactic Bureau of Auto Racing up into fifth. 722 still on top ahead of McLaren and Cool Camel. Can they charge to get second place potentially? In well, the it's going to be season? difficult. I think yeah. McLaren have more chance of getting first. Yes. So that's 45 points in it. So McLaren with Chris White or 722 with Dan Hill. We wait to see the outcome at Silverstone. I'm really excited to see what happens there. Hope you are too. The home of British motorsport. Yes. I thought it's it was Bexel on Sea, wasn't it? <laughs> That's supposed to be the home of British motorsport. Anyway, that it's is... Not racing. No. I don't even think there's a track there. I don't know why it's called that, but... Anyway, it's the yeah the final round of season eight coming up uh, in a couple of weeks' time. I hope you can join us then. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers, Jules. See you next time. Bye bye.